Aisha, you can start. Yes, ma'am. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. I am Aisha Nabil Hassan, a student of the Super Kids July Batch. This webinar is conducted by Mohammed Adnan, who is also a student of the Super Kids July Batch, and he is speaking on the topic, topic cybersecurity. In this webinar, we will learn about cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is like a digital shield that protects our computers, phones, and other devices from bad guys who try to steal our information or cause harm online. It helps keep our personal data like passwords and financial details safe from hackers and cyber criminals. Just like we lock our doors to protect our homes, cybersecurity ensures that our digital world stays secure. Hi, my name is Adnan. So today I'm going to be talking about cybersecurity. So first, can anybody tell me what is cybersecurity? I think so. Okay, what is it? Um, is cybersecurity cyber is the kind of security uh, that you get uh, in the when you're like in the internet or like a laptop, phone or devices. Okay. So cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, network and programs from digital attack. What is the important importance of internet safety in the modern age? As more and more personal information is shared online, it's important to be aware of the risks and take precautions to stay safe. Hackers can gain access to personal accounts and steal sensitive data. So it's important to use strong passwords and be careful about what, we, what information we share online. Protecting personal information online. First, understanding data privacy and its significance. Best practices for secure online communication. Safeguarding personal information on social media platforms. Re uh, how to recognize and respond to cyber threats. So one of the most important tools to invest in is antivirus software. So most antivirus mechanisms can detect malware, spyware, ransomware, and malicious um, email attachments. Free apps for security. There are five, and I will show the best five of it. Avast Antivirus and Security, LastPass, Norton Antivirus, Dashlane, Bitdefender. Free apps or websites to learn about cybersecurity. Coursera, edX, Udemy, Springboard. If you want, you can take a screenshot or a picture. Then, what is the cyber security? What is cyber security in healthcare field? Can anyone tell me why is cyber security important in healthcare field? Anyone? <laughs> I guess I will tell it. Um, so cyber security is important in healthcare field because most of our health information are also saved in internet by the hospitals. So if it leak, if it is leaked to the bad people, it might be dangerous. So uh, cyber security is also important in healthcare field. It involves a variety of measures to protect organization from external and internal cyber attacks and ensure availability of medical services, proper operation of medical systems and equipment, preservation of confidentiality, 
and integrity of patient data and compliance with industry regulations. What, why is cybersecurity important in medical devices? <clears throat> it also aids in ensuring that medical products are in good working order and preventing illegal access to them. Furthermore, cybersecurity helps safeguard healthcare facilities from malware and ransomware assaults, resulting in patient care disruptions, system failures, and data breaches. So there are many fields which use cybersecurity. So I'm going to be showing some of it. Network security infrastructure, telecommunications, information security and processing, computer systems and applications, data analysis tools, third party risk management, security testing procedures, industry security standards. The five types of cybersecurity which, which you need to know, critical infrastructure security, application security, network security, cloud security, internet of things or IoT security. What are the seven layers of cybersecurity? The, there are seven layers of cybersecurity. The first one is human layer. This layer deals with the human behavior towards the system and how they protect the system's data. Perimeter security layer. Network layer. Application security layer. Endpoint security layer. Data security layer. Mission critical assets. The six phases of cyber security are preparation, identification, Containment, eradic eradication, recovery, lessons learned. What is cybercrime? Can anyone tell me what is cybercrime? Hacking. Okay, that's one type. Uh, that's it. Um, DDoSing. Okay. So uh, cybercrime is. Oh wait, I know, Cyber I know. Crime. I know, leaking people like address online. Yeah. Leaking people's okay. personal information online and hacking. Okay, cyber crime is any criminal activity that involves a computer, network, device, or a network. <coughs> What is the work of cyber cell? Cyber crime cells are the one track solution towards combating and tackling cyber crime. Thank you. Questions? I have a question. Yeah. What are the four types, uh, what are the five types of cyber security? Uh, okay, the five types of cyber security, critical infrastructure security, application security, network security, cloud security, and IoT security. Okay. Any questions? Who is the father of cyber security? <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. The father of cyber security is Bob Thomas. I have a question. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. The, uh, is cyber security means a like a, 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 a building or something, or does a uh, people make that like police or something? No, no. It's cyber security is as you know. Um, to protect the things we do, like in laptop and all our personal things, to protect it, there is cyber security. Cyber cell is also to protect. It's like it's like police, but in internet. Okay, but what is cyber attack? 
cyber attack is also same as cyber crime Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah. Like who who found cyber security? <coughs> what? Who found cyber security? Uh, it's same as I think it's same as the answer of Iden. Okay. The father of cyber security. Bob Thomas. Yeah. I think everyone finished. Can I stop? I have one question. Yeah. So why web uh, 3.0 is safe? from this, you know, cyber security threats. Uh, can you tell me, please? So basically web 3.0, the new web is uh, secure from the cyber security. Can you explain why? Mm. Sorry, I don't know. Okay. Um, which are the most uh, used tool for uh, cyber security, like hacking or anything like that, for cyber cracking? Uh, I am not sure. Uh, what about password cracking? Anything? You know? No. I have a question. Yes. Yeah, is uh is cyber security have a building or office or something? Yeah, that is cyber cell. Okay. I have another question. Just a minute. Yeah. Adran, did you answer to Amin's question? No, ma'am. I, I, I thought I thought you were searching for the answer, right? No, no. Okay, I mean, okay, if no problem, I mean, can you say the answer? If you know the answer, I mean, you can give. Um. So basically, Web three point is a distributed network. So it's not like single handedly, uh, you know, used. So it's like very complicated thing. So it is because it is uh wide in. The, it is not in a server that is in one place. Cyber security threat is when they are cracking into your system. But this uh, Web 3.0 is very much distributed, wherein you can't, uh, even if you get something from one person, you can't like understand where the other things are. So you can't really match it up or find anything from it. Uh, it's basically distributed. So it's not only in a way I told, there are like different ways wherein it is protected by the people itself. So it is like very hard. There will be like two or three million people who are handling it. So we need to convince all of them just to get inside. But if we are able to convince all of them, it is easier 
than hacking into normal systems. So, uh, and uh, the tools I told, I don't think we need to talk about it. So there are some uh, injectors wherein you install Kali Linux, there will be like a lot of tools that already come with it. So there are many tools like that. I have another question. Yeah. Which country is number one in cybersecurity? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, the I, US. I, I, US. What? US, USA. Okay. And um, which place is India in cybersecurity? Five, I think. No. Ten, 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 ten. Stem. I didn't. Do you have any more question? No, ma'am. Okay, Adnan, you can also ask questions, okay? Okay, ma'am, but I asked in between the webinar. Yeah, the webinar. Okay, so you don't have any question. Anyone else have any doubts? You can clear with Adnan. I think there is no more questions. So, Shahina, ma'am, I think we can wind up, right? Yes, ma'am. So, Adnan, that was a wonderful session. Okay, if my If dear? anyone have any question, we will wait for a minute. You can ask. From Inaya to everyone. Yes. yes, we can wind up. I think there is no more questions. Yes. Okay, please, it was a nice session, Adnan. Ayan, vote Ayan. Is cyber security necessary? And then the question is to you, my dear. Uh, yeah, of course, because most of our information are nowadays stored in internet. So I think it is pretty necessary. Okay. Okay, any, any more questions? Akash, Wiltan, Zakir. Yeah, I have a question. Akash, you can ask. So my question is that, so is it, is it like does cyber security, so if you have cyber security, are you like completely protected from everything on the internet? We are not fully protected, but we might get it or we might be a little bit protected using antivirus. But if we click link and all, we might get notified, but we are not fully protected. Um, okay, so, uh, and I have another question. So, if, uh, could you, could you like tell me some uh, apps or websites that you can use like, for cybersecurity? Uh, I showed you in the webinar. I uh, I will tell you one more time, or I will share it. Um, what? I'll show you. I'll share. You. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, okay, these are the apps for security. These are free. Okay, okay, thank you. If you <coughs> want, you can take the screenshot. He changed. Because they are all the free apps that you can learn more about the cybersecurity. If anyone wants, you can screenshot it. Okay, I think there is no more questions. So, Adnan, it I have was... a question. I have a question. Yes, Ryan. 
are all these free apps for security free? Are they? Are they all free or like some of them paid? All of them are free. Okay, but is there like a paid version for them? Um, I'm not sure, but maybe after like some trials, maybe they will ask for more. Mm, okay. Well, that's all my questions. Okay, thank you, Ray. Any other questions? I have another question. So yes. is so how does so cyber security keeps you safe on the internet uh, on the yeah. internet, right? Yeah. So like besides from cyber security keeping you safe on the internet, it, uh, does it do anything else? Uh it will notify you when you are using unwanted uh, links when you are going to click unwanted links or going to download something uh, which will damage our system so that that's all it does so are all the cyber securities apps safe and the same yeah it is safe so but are are all are all cyber security apps reliable? Yeah. Okay, but uh, um, yeah, but um, so cyber, but cyber security can't keep you safe from everything on the internet. It's not completely safe, but it still protects it. So it's it might not be completely safe, but it's still protective. Like that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's my question. Okay, any more questions? Okay, so thank you, Adinan. It was a nice session. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. It was thank an informative you. webinar, okay? Yes, thank you all for joining. Please join back to the classes, okay, future school students? Um, okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, okay, ma'am.